Hi, this is Arden Kirkland with a video for week one of the D4L Community Module. So what do I mean when I say an online learning community? Well, here's a nice definition I found. An online learning community is a public or private destination on the internet that addresses the learning needs of its members by facilitating peer-to-peer -peer learning. And even better, I found this definition on Wikipedia, which in itself is an online learning community, a public destination on the internet that facilitates peer-to-peer -peer learning. Look at that. I want to start by reminding you that we're all part of an online learning community right now for this class. This community exists through a couple of different platforms, mostly Moodle, a little bit on Facebook, some of us have already met up in person at various conferences, or will in the coming months. In the forums so far for D4L, or with other online communities you're involved in, you've probably already experienced the importance of both give and take with the social aspect. Those who put more out to the community end up getting more back in the form of responses and connections. We'll talk more about motivation and barriers to that in a minute. There also are hybrid communities, which include both face-to-face -face and online interaction. Some classes meet first in person and then move online. Some meet in person periodically, perhaps every month, but then meet more often online. I've personally had my best luck meeting online first and then meeting in person, but for others it's the exact opposite. That's a part of your own learning style. And that doesn't just apply to class settings either. This screenshot shows my original session proposal on the blog for an unconference called That Camp. An unconference is an informal participant scheduled conference. Everyone signs up to attend, but nothing is scheduled. Everyone proposes ideas for sessions online by way of a blog, and people can comment and start the conversation there. That way, when you get there in person, you already have people you're looking for to talk with. But that's not it. Then the conversation continues afterward, moving back online. For the That Camp community, that happens most often on Twitter. So here, in this screenshot, you're seeing the very first people I followed on Twitter, after attending my first That Camp. This small group grew into a much larger network of like-minded folks I can check in with from time to time about shared interests. A more formal term for this is a personal learning network, or PLN. Communities can extend out from a particular class or event, but then grow and morph to include new subgroups or form entirely new groups. Some discussions of online communities try to break them down by type of community, as shown in this table. Take a look at these definitions of what distinguishes between a community of interest, of place, of practice, of action, of circumstance, or of inquiry. Now think back to some of the online communities you have visited or participated in. Do they fit neatly into one of these categories? Perhaps not. It's not uncommon for communities to combine one or more of these types, or to develop from one type into another. For example, moving from a community of interest to a community of action when an issue arises that requires activism. Let's talk about the layers of the kinds of communities that may be related to our roles as instructors. The class environment itself will function best if we nurture its own internal community. However, sometimes there's an option to continue a community after a class ends, or to combine different classes or sections into a larger group where the conversation can continue and thrive. Those are times when a community may move from one platform to another, or use multiple platforms for different goals. Class members may also find support for their work in a class in another community, such as a larger community of practice, of interest, or of action. In the next video, we'll talk about some theories and research to better understand online learning communities.